Hi boys and girls, it's your boy Diverse here. Back with another video. This time it's the stuffed crust trophy with extra pepperoni on the side match tonight. It's all to us, Southend versus Colchester. The Essex derby. The one that, you know, most fans I feel aren't taking too much notice of because it's this boring old cup. But... I, for one, love want to see a win tonight. If we lose tonight, it will hurt more than any other matches we've lost this season, especially after the FA Cup shock. I believe for both teams as well. Colchester lost to Marine. We lost to Borenwood. Both teams, I feel, have got to make some up tonight. Well, Southend have got a lot to make up, let's be honest here. We've lost pretty much all season. We've got two draws to our name. You know, we need a game or something to turn us around. I thought Borenwood would be the one that would turn us around, but no, nah, it clearly didn't. And now we come up against our local rivals, and I've got to say, Colchester, even though local rivals not supposed to be like supporting them, you know, they're doing all right in the league this season. They've got a few good players, to be fair. But, hey, we've got to get the job done tonight. We've got to at least get something from this, even if this cup means nothing to either team. Just to come away with something, even just get a couple goals. If we lose by a goal, then yeah. But if we can score some, at least, it might put the positivity back in that we can actually create and score goals. As for team news tonight, we see some faces return to the squad. We've got John White back in, the ex-Colchester player and Southend's longest serve player now you know everyone loves him around the club if you don't love him then what the hell are you doing around here i can't say much else about him he's just he's needed he's just got that all-round player that we've been missing hopefully and he can start and hopefully not get injured tonight if so bollocks and we've got also got harry seeding in the net tonight which is beautiful to see after oxley's poor run of form i should say from since like the beginning of the season or even after four games in you know it's good to see a rotation i feel tonight if harry seeding wants to push for that first team spot this is his night to prove we also see matt rush come in no dimitri no ollie Inc in the middle which i feel is a big letdown as ollie Inc i think is one of our key players so far this season Hopefully pick up a point tonight. Well, not so, not a point. Hopefully pick up the dub tonight. Bring it back home to the rightful team in Essex. There's only one team in Essex, and it is the Blue Boys. But hey, into tonight's game. Follow along with me. I'll probably give a drink and shit tons of this just to put me through this night. And my iPad just fell over. Anyway, into the match. Come on, Blues! He's in here with a chance. Good chip. Lays out to Egbury on the wing. Egbury with a decent cross here and cleared out by the number 11 for a throw in. Good play there from the Blues. Nicked it off Colchester in the middle. I believe it was Harry Phillips who nicked it. Played into good chip. We did a nice bit of skill to get away. And Egbury with a cross could have been better, but hey. It's four minutes in here. Come on, you Blues. Feck me. Colchester's second attack of the game. Seven minutes in here. Richard Taylor switches off at the back and allows the Colchester number 10 to come through. One on one with Seedon. He does luckily put it wide with almost a perfect one on one chance there for them, I've got to say. But Richard Taylor, feck me. You are scaring me already on his return to the side. Corner here for Colchester. Just worked in. Playing it short a lot tonight, Colchester with the corners. And all oh, nearly in at the back post for Colchester there, but cleared off the line. Out to Harry Pell, the number eight. And he puts over the bar. Feck me. I hate watching our defence. I really do. Come on, Blues. Wakey. God's sake, I hate watching this defence play. Colchester again, rip us apart. Shot by the number 39 off the underside of the bar. Seedon rooted to the spot and the ref does blow for a foul. In the box. Sorry about that. But Jesus Christ. This is getting hard to watch. It's only 10 minutes in and it's already getting hard to watch. Colchester, a lot more dangerous on the attack, just ripping us apart with the counter-attack in play. Need to sort that out, but as we've seen all season, counter-attacks and us, we just fit hand in glove. After those previous comments just made, we're actually starting to look somewhat good right now. Two corners in quick succession, cleared out by Colchester, which was, i got to say, good crosses, but yeah, good defending. And now we've won ourselves a free kick, just about 40 yards out. You know, if this doesn't go in, I'm going on strike. Phillips to whip it in long, into the box, nice and high. It's gone down. Rush, shoot, no rush. Wait. Free kick to Colchester. Back. I literally thought right then that was a penalty to us. Rush with the shot. Harry Pell blocked it and it's a free kick to the use right now. Gotta say, last couple minutes been looking good after those bad comments I've been making. But still, there's a long way to go in this game. Hopefully we get a goal or just something. Even if we lose by millions, if we get a goal, I'll be happy. Come on, you blues. Only 60 minutes left. Colchester breaking through here. They're number 10. One-on-one -on -one against Seed and Annie. Lob Seed and 2-0. Colchester there. Arguably two free kicks for South End in that play up there. Harry Phillips challenged in the middle after a pull, I'd say, clearance from John White out to Clifford. Clifford got brought down. Ball went to Phillips. He got brought down as well. Referee said nothing. Colchester just broke through and, yeah, it's 2-0 to Colchester before half time. This is, yeah, this is hard to watch now. Like I said at the beginning, this... Like, if we lost this, this would be hard to watch. John White, as I've seen here in the replay, furious at the liner for not giving the free kicks for us. But 
you didn't blow the whistle, everyone switched off and Colchester just took advantage of it. You can't say much else. You know, 2-0, 38 minutes now. It just, oh, this gets harder and harder. Half time here, Colchester 2, the Blue Boys 0. Brown with both the goals, 16 minutes and 38 minutes into the game. I've got to say, it's a poor showing, to be honest. We've had a few chances, but I know a lot of fans, including myself now, are thinking, Mosley, just get out. Your tactics aren't working. What is the plan here? But upon saying that, we have had a few chances which have been decent, you know. Even though the ball's not ended up in the back of that, which I know is the main aim of this. But there's been a few good passing round games, a few good chances worked up for us. But Colchester, obviously, strong team out. It's going to take a lot to break them down at the break here. But... Hopefully there's a change or two coming up. I know we don't have the strongest of benches, but hey, if we're 2-0 down, why not just risk it? Get someone like Ollie Coker on, you know, Kenny Coker's little brother. I think it is, yeah, he's your little brother. I believe it is, yeah. But no, in the Stuff Crust Trophy, half-time, 2-0 to the U's. Come on, Blues, let's get back out in the second half and make something happen. Two switches it as we head into the second half. Ashley Nathaniel George on for Brandon Goodship. He was playing as a centre midfielder. Did not work in the slightest at all. And a number 37 coming on by the name of Chandler. I don't know anything about this guy. I'm guessing he's from the youth team, the youth development. He slotted in at right back there. So I'm imagining now we're pushing Hobson into more of a centre back position. John White has gone off for him. So that is a definite interesting one. It means John White doesn't get injured, which is a blessing in disguise. But... Hopefully this Chandler bloke might just be the next Elvis Bueno who came through the youth and just became like an all-round first-team player. Let's see what happens here. Second half in, come on you blues. What a save by Harry Seenwriter. This guy, jeez, if he doesn't get a start on Saturday after tonight, this is incredible. He is just denied a certain goal there. One-on-one, -on -one, their number, I think it was Brown again, who's on a hat-trick. Number 10, broke free, passed Richard Taylor, stuck out his legs, did Seedon, and perfect, absolutely perfect way to stop that goal. Just hit the corner of his legs and shot out wide. But wow, Harry Seedon, I'll take my healthy. That was a great individual save from a young keeper. Chester breaking through here with the number 37. Played out wide to number 23. Back inside, Hobson. Bad challenge, Hobson. Penalty. Oh, my God. This has been hard to These It's 55 minutes on the clock now. I've got to say, we've been doing all right, to be fair, in these last 15, in fact, 10 minutes, sorry. I think we deserve something from it, but then that goes and happens. Hobson just stands there. Brings the guy down, obvious as day, penalty, for God's sake. The number 10 standing over it. I think the number 10 may have a discussion there about who should take it, but this is for the hat trick. Harry Seedon, you save this now, you can be the number one. I'm saying it now. You save this, I swear you're, you should start Saturday. I beg. There goes my alarm off in the background. Come on, big Harry. Do this. And Twitter's going nuts at the same time. Come on, Harry. He's jumping side to side here, trying to put off the number 10. I, in all honesty, I can see this going in, but still, come on, Seedham. Come on, come on. He's taking his time here. Number 10 steps up, sends Seedham the wrong way. That's a hat trick there for the number 10, and yeah. Unlucky, Seedham. Unlucky. 3 <laughs> 0, 56 minutes now on the clock. Is there any point in saying, come on, you blues? I don't think so. Colchester again coming for it. Poku, I think it is, plays through the number 39. Seedon gets a hand to it and it's gone in. 4 0 Colchester as my camera decides to have a moment there. 4 0 to the U's, 60 minutes on the clock. This is beyond now, this watchable. I'm getting really close to just switching off this stream now. Fuck me. Mosley out. I'm starting to believe it. I, I want the guy to succeed. Honestly, I do. I feel everyone wants the manager to succeed for this club. He is not one, I think. This is now... It's just a long-term thing. It's not going to work. Ron Martin mentions he's in our long-term plans. Well, short-term, we're screwed. Like, you, we're going down the National League at this rate. And he, it's just a camera angle here. And it's just showing him standing on the sidelines. Just with his hands in his pocket like... Yeah, and what? Just like, for God. it's just hard to watch now. I might release a video later this week about this. You know, this is just getting unbearable to watch now. 4-0 to Colchester, 62 minutes on the clock. Colchester just thumped the shot against the bar. Not cleared properly by Hobson. Their player working into the box, and it's five. It's five. Five. Nil. 
Five nil. Five against our local rivals. Yes, it's a crap cup. This is our local rivals. We are losing five nil to what? Hobson's clearance. I've just watched the replay. It's just so shit. From literally in line with the penalty spot, he's just gone. Eh, headed it a couple of meters. They've just picked up the ball, ran in, hit it, and it's in the corner. Right. This, oh, there's no pride in this team for this game. There is nothing going on. There is so much being said that, yeah, it's a good team in the backroom staff and all, we're trying to make it positive. It's not showing. Yes, Mark Mosley's been handed a shit situation, but what can we do? Like, seriously, it's just, this hurts now. Now we just take it off Aqua for Ollie Coker. That's really going to make a difference now, isn't it, mostly? We've gone 4-2-4. Four, four. I don't get the reason for that. There's just nothing to build here anymore. The pride's gone. The passion's gone. I remember when we used to go to Colchester, and it used to be a fight to get the win. Even if it was the Cup or if it was the League, there would be a fight to win that game. And just in every game, as an aspect, there would be fight. And in this team, there's no fight. There's just people earning a wage for a living. And doing that, the only one I could potentially say in this starting eleven who might deserve some praise was John White and maybe Harry Seedon if at a push. But, you know, it's just so hard to watch nowadays. You know, oh, there's just no words for this anymore. 70 on the clock, 5-0. As usual, Colchester coming forward here. They're number 37, playing it through to the edge of the box. Low cross into the number 23. And, oh, I give up at this fucking point. I give up. I just give up. How? How can you just let this happen week in and week out? I don't get it anymore. I really just don't get this. This is hard to watch. Reading people on Twitter more than watching this game, but just... Oh, this is so fucking bollocking hard to watch. It's ripping this apart. Seedon is pissed with his defence. I am as well, to be fair. Hobson... <laughs> like, oh, Taylor, just the whole team, there's nothing there, yeah, we lost all the inspiration when the first goal went in, but six, six, can someone please arrange the taxi for Mosley, I know there was a comment on Twitter saying, like, what is it, Sol Campbell, Chris Powell, and now Mark Mosley, all suffering, like, bad things, yes, to an aspect, Chris Powell actually had something decent there, and then over time, obviously, it's rotted down more. Sol Campbell did manage to get a bit of a turnaround. But this, this is the worst I've seen in a long, long time here at this club. This is just, this is so hard to watch. Like I've said, our local rivals, 6-0. 83 on the clock. I can't wait for this match to be over, actually. The pain just keeps going on. This, something needs to change and drastic. I know it won't. I really know it won't. But, like, what what can you say anymore? What can you say? And Kazaya Sterling's in the box. Just to add to it, Kazaya Sterling just had the ball on the edge of the box, had a shot, just gave it straight to the keeper, just straight down the middle. Didn't put it either side. What is going on? We scored! We scored a goal! We're back in the game! It's 6 1. 6 1. Brilliant. We scored a goal! Yeah, that's, that's, that's better. I did say if we get a goal from this, it will make me positive. But this doesn't. This really doesn't. It was a corner come in. Out to, I believe it was, it was cleared out to Chandler, who just passes the ball in. And Sterling just manages to get on the end of it and put it past the keeper. Obviously, if you're a Colchester fan, that is going to be quite annoying as that clean sheet was there. Now it's gone. But hey, you don't give a shit. You're winning 6 1. As for myself and most self end fans watching this, yeah. This is shit. And just to make it even more funny, the Colchester player from the kickoff has just smacked it all the way out past Seedon's goal into the like row Z. And I believe, yeah, referees about to blow the full time whistle anyway. I'm just going to say this now. There'll be a review coming of this game in about a couple of minutes after I've managed to make myself a cuppa, sit down and just, yeah, we'll go through this in depth. Although it's going to start with a couple of words that if your children are up and watching, you might want to put them to sleep. Right, boys and girls, here's the review of that game. I'm just going to try and keep it as calm as I can because, to be fair, that was beyond shocking. That was nothing that game that is anything positive to take from it. If Mark Mosley, I haven't seen his interview yet, if he picks out one positive, 
one. I will be stunned from this game. It'll probably be a penalty line. Like, yeah, we should have had a penalty. Or that was a dodgy free kick. That second goal should have been offside. If there is something like that, oh, oh that's not going to sit well. There is no... This is now going to be my upset. There is no bite in this team since the beginning of the season. The only game, actually, I'll tell that's a lie. The only game I've properly been believing this team is going for it is against Exeter, and then they scored in the last minute to get a draw. And that shattered us, I felt. That was the turning point then. And ever since that game, it's been a rot of down, 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 down. Come also tied in with the fact that we are under the embargo, players are risked at not being paid on time, it's not just down to Mosley. It's more Ron Martin involved as well. It's more behind-the-scenes stuff than what fans are looking at. And it's taken me a while to get that point across. I feel I've defended Mark Mosley as a manager for quite a while now. And I thought, you know, I'll give him benefit. He's got a hard situation. It's a hard time for all Southampton fans. The club is in pieces right now. Like, we need to stick with him. Now that's broken, that straw. That straw tonight, after tonight's game, I felt tonight was going to be something. If we can show something like against Borenwood, we showed a little bit of fight, it might like turn it the other way for myself. Don't know if that's the same for all you lot, but that's me. Yeah, tonight, that's it. Done. Get him the taxi, get him out. He's out of his depth here. There's no experience. Yes, he's done well with Weymouth. However, that is non-league. This is the proper... Well, there isn't much... Well, I say that. There is a difference, clearly. But... He's not the man for the job. We all thought he was. And as I've said, I want to get behind him. I want to support him as a manager. I want him to be the man to end this rot that we're in. But it's clearly not working. As for tonight, no real man of the match. There's no real players I'm going to pick out and say, yeah, they were okay. I did say some earlier, but then I just realised, you know what, this is just beyond shite now. So... On the back of this whiteboard that you see in most videos, I have written four potential managers who I believe, yes, you're all going to be a bit like, oh, they're just ex South End managers, you know, they, you, you didn't look wide enough. Y yes, you can say that. But I believe they're the only potential people that will come into this job right now. What? Sitting bottom of the table with a young squad and you can't sign anyone. You know, these are the only managers I can see potentially wanting to even look at this job. So I'm going to put them up now. Leave down below if you agree with any of them. If you think I'm just completely bonkers or whatever. Here is the list. Hopefully it comes out the right way. As you see, we have Steve Tilson, Graham Alexander, Phil Brown, and Graham Coughlin up there. Sorry, my handwriting is terrible. But yeah, it is it's really bad. Sorry about that. But no, those are the only four I can potentially see wanting this job. Phil Brown, yes, we can argue, uh, caused this rot with the big money spending signings. We can all argue, but he got us the wins. He got us to where we were, a League One side, challenging for nearly playoffs to the championship. Steve Tilson... I believe he loves the club. I've seen him watch a few games from time to time when fans were allowed in to watch it. I've seen him in like the director's area. Graham Coughlin, recently sacked, you know, used to be here, might just want to come back down, might want to come back and make an impact and pick his career back up. Graham Alexander, I saw a fan comment that on Twitter, so thank you very much for that. And yeah, I remember him, I think he was used to be the Plymouth manager off the top of my head. Off the yeah, he's off the top of my head. But I'm going to have to search him up. There will be a video coming out of the reaction to all of what's happened lately in the FA Cup and now the Pizza Cup. So I hope you've enjoyed this video because I certainly have not enjoyed watching that game. But hey, someone has to do it for everyone around here. So if you did enjoy this video, forget the score on. If you enjoyed the video, just me being an absolute knob about it all, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you're liking, commenting, following me on all the socials. I'm going to end this here. My name's been Dolosity and it goes this little something like peace.